Hello there, I am Yumta Akush. In this video, we will solve one problem in chapter 8. A small queen placed at the top of a metal hemisphere of radius 45 cm begins to slide down. If the friction between the coin and the hemisphere is negligibly small, find the angle with respect to the central vertical of the hemisphere at which the coin lifts off the hemisphere. First of all, let us draw the free body diagram of the coin at the point where it leaves off the hemisphere. We choose the appropriate coordinate axis. Next, we represent the mass by a big dot. After that, we draw all the forces acting on the coin. The gravitational force acting on the body is a downward force like this. It is convenient to decompose it onto x and y axis. At this point, we do not draw the normal force since the coin lifts off the surface. Namely, we have a zero magnitude normal force. Finally, at this moment, the motion can be regarded as the uniform circular motion. Therefore, the centripetal acceleration is drawn like this. We know that it has magnitude of v squared over r. If we write the equation of motion along the y-axis by the help of the Newton's second law, the only force along this line is the centripetal force with magnitude m times g times cosine theta, which is equal to m times v squared over r by the help of Newton's second law. Ok, that's enough for the free body diagram of the object and the equation of motion. Now we write the conservation of total energy. The potential energy of the coin at point P1 becomes m times g times h. And the kinetic energy at this point is zero since it is initially at rest. The potential energy of the coin at point P2 is zero and the kinetic energy is one half m times v squared. From the figure, we can find an expression for h as r times 1 minus cosine theta. From equation 1, we have an expression for m times v squared as m times r times g times cosine theta. The terms m times g times r at both sides are cancelled. So we are remained with 2 minus 2 cosine theta equals cosine theta. Therefore, cosine theta equals 2 thirds. From this, theta is obtained as r cosine 2 thirds, which is calculated to be 48.2 degrees. Ok, this is the answer to the question in the problem. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.